We're back at 845 this morning on Today Food Kitchen Fixes that can lead to a longer, better, and healthier life. NBC senior food analyst and former White House chef Sam Cass says it all starts with how your space is arranged. Sam, good to see you, my friend. It's so good to be here. Now, are you going to take away all the stuff I love out of my pantry nope. and fridge? Nope, we're not going to take it all away, okay. but we're going to rearrange a lot of it. Okay, So you where know, do we begin? So nutrition and diet is the number one cause of preventable disease in our country, by a lot. And a lot of it starts with how we set our kitchens up. So we're trying to eat healthier, we're doing everything we can, but we're doing battle in our own kitchens because we come home and we put out our favorite yeah. uh, tra treats on the, on the counter. And what happens is we end up eating more of this. So a good friend of mine, Brian Wansing, has done research that shows if a woman has chips or crackers, they're likely to weigh nine pounds more than average. Cereal is about 20 pounds more than average. Really? And soda about 30 pounds more because it's just out for us to eat. So do we don't have to get rid of it altogether? You want to just conceal it a little bit? I, I, would, do, I would try to get rid of some of it, but okay. the things that you really love, we're going to put them up here on the Ooh. top shelf where we can't see them. And that means what ends up happening is you're only going to eat them when you really want it. Right. You Not when just you it. see it. Right. Right. So that's step one. You see, you eat what you see. And by the way, this is where everybody leaves there. I have my chips and cookies right when I get home from work. I'm starving. Boom. I go boom, right to them. That's what you're going to do. Right? right. So, okay. So that's step one. Okay. You got to get it out of sight. But then the things you want to eat, we want to put in sight. Okay. So the first thing that I always would do is take some fruit. There you go and put it out on the counter. Okay. When that happens, the average person who has this on their counter, seven pounds less. Really? Yeah. So then, the other big thing you can do is you want to put out fruits and dried fruits and nuts. Okay. Nice snacks that are healthy that you enjoy, your kids will enjoy, and you make it so that they're running through the kitchen. <laughs> Instead of seeing that cookie that was just there, they're going to grab so some raisins, some craisins, whatever it is. You're still having the cookies and the chips, you're just having them less frequently. You're going to eat them still, it's fine, cookies yeah. are great. <laughs> the cookies, we love cookies, but you just want to only have them occasionally, and that's a great way to do it. All right, let's move over to the fridge, Sam. Same thing. What so, am I doing wrong in here? So in the fridge, it's the, sort of the same, same issue. Right now, we have most of our vegetables and fruits down mm -hmm. in the bottom. Okay. But then they go bad, we end up wasting all this food. You forget they're there. You forget they're there. Yeah. So key is to bring it out of the shadows <laughs> and let's put it where we can see it. Because actually the evidence shows that you're three times more likely to eat something if it's in sight. In eye line. In eye okay. line. So right here we have the most important staples are easily cut up fruits and vegetables right here. You have um, avocados are also a great snack. We have eggs are really important for health. Plenty of fruit. And herbs are also something that, you know, will make any dish better. And you like non-fat Greek yogurt, too. Always a winner. And put your own so, fruit in it. You put, put your, your fruit in it. It's, it's so rich, it's creamy, but it has no fat. I think the other great thing is to have water readily available. Water pitcher increases how much water. So what did drink. we lose from the fridge? What do I have to take out of here altogether? I think, so the things that I look for to take out are things that have sugar and one of the top couple ingredients or have lots of words that you don't understand. <laughs> okay. If you don't know what that is, you probably don't want to be eating it. All right, Sam, real quick, show us a good snack to yep. make as we go to break here for people can make this weekend. Yep. Be so good for them. When you have uh, all your, your vegetables, you need something to do with. So hummus is one of the best things you can do. Super easy, just some olive oil, some tahini, some lemon, and some garlic. Right in with the chickpeas. Right in with the chickpeas, a quick little blend. Okay. And you're good to go. And then you use all those vegetables that you have in your eye line yep. in the fridge and dip them right in. That's exactly right. Sam Cass, great to Good see to you, go. my friend. Yep. A little Such bit a of a buzzkill on my cookies, but I'm going to work through it. Just, just put them on the top. Okay, Keep I will. Them. Thank you, Sam. We're back in a moment. This is Today on NBC. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.